Hallelujah. Today we are going to Hezekiah. Excuse me. Today we are going to Isaiah. Isaiah 38. And if you can stand with me for the reading of the word. And I will go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come today, God. I come, God, boldly to your throne of grace. I come, God, knowing nothing but Jesus and himself crucified. I ask you, God, to have me behind the cross. God, I plead the blood of Jesus on me, God, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Thank you for my pastor, God, that continue to let us uh, be a part of the poor pit, God. Thank you for him, God. And, Father God, I ask you to continue to use me, God, to your glory, to your will, and to your way, God. It's all in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah 38. And it reads, in those days was Hezekiah, the prophet, seeking to death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Ammon, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Verse 2, Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. And my key verse is, Verse 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. And my message today is face time. Face time. Thank you, God. Well, let me break it down a little bit for you. When I talk about face time, I was talking about, you know, they got these cell phones now. And on the cell phone, you can FaceTime somebody. But you know, here's a guy, he wasn't FaceTiming at that time. He was going to the wall. These days, we need to go to the wall to have a little talk with God. Sometimes, you know, people have walkie-talkies. And they talk on this walkie-talkie, and they talk on that talkie-walkie. And you know, back in the day, they had a telephone. And in the, back in the day, they had a telephone that had a party line. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. They had a party line. And on the party line, you can have two peoples on the party line. These days, they got a thing they call a three line. You can have three conversations on the line at one time. But you know, Hezekiah, he wasn't doing it to the telephone. He wasn't doing it on FaceTime. He was going to the wall. He had to turn his face to God. He had to turn his face and go to God. And tell God, God, remember me. Remember me, God, of all the good I've done. But let me tell you, though God told me when I was preparing this lesson, he said some people are holding grudges. Now let me tell you, you need to get rid of them. Now, God didn't call me. He didn't call me to sweep this word up under the rug. And he didn't tell me to sugarcoat this word. So I'm going to tell you just that my God told me to tell you. I'm going to tell you whether you like it or not. If it hits you then, say ouch. But I must tell you the word. People keep holding grudges. That's stupidity. That's childish stuff. And the word tells us, it says 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. It says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I understood as a child. But when I grew up, I became a man. And I put away the childish things. Thank you, God. Now, God is saying you get, need to get the house in order. And as I begin to talk to my God, he told me, tell the gays. He said, get your house in order, gay. I didn't make a wet way. Good God Almighty, you trying to be something that you're not. 
You better look back over in the book, the book of Genesis 19 and 24. And I'm just going to pay a paraphrase it a little bit. Back over in Genesis 19 and 24, there was some gays over there. And you know they wanted a real man. But let me tell you, you better turn your life around. You better get in check for the Lord. Because you're not going to be able to stand if you're trying to live that way. God had to destroy this city. He destroyed this city because of them gays over there. Good God Almighty, I ain't scared of your king. I'm going to tell you the word, whether you like it or not. I'm going to tell you what God said. He said, get your house in order. Get your house in order right now. Thank you, God. He's worthy to be praying. Now the devil is trying to take them people to hell. And God don't want them in hell. Some people don't believe that there's a hell, but it is. Some people believe in witches and warlocks. Good God Almighty, there might be some witches and some warlocks out there. But let me tell you one thing, they can't hurt you, cause you're covered by the blood of Jesus. God then already covered you, he put a seal on you, he said this my child, let me man you with doctor, and let me man you one lock, you can't hurt a child of God, cause they covered by the blood. The child of God stay in God faith. It's face time today. Thank you, Jesus. Now let me tell you where them old crutches came from. The crutches came down through the generation. The crutches came down through the limits. Let me tell you, children of God, get rid of those crutches. You holding on to them. It's in your heart. If you don't let it out, you gon' get sick. Good God Almighty, God ain't gon' make you sick, but the crutch is gonna make you sick. You better do that, Hezekiah. Hezekiah went to the wall. He went to the wall and he talked to God. He said, God, give me a little more longer life. Good God Almighty, I'm telling somebody, get in the face of God, get in God's face, ask God for a little more time, oh God, I thank you, thank you Jesus, oh God, I thank you. Now, I paid a price for this anointing. And I got to do what God said to It wasn't a little bit of price. I had to go through some things. I had to see uh, people persecuting me. People lied on me. Good God Almighty. They scandalized my name. I kept on going to Jesus. I kept on telling my father, oh God, God let me went through that thing, and God brought me on out of it, oh God, I thank you, bless your name, God, thank you, God, there's some peoples up in here, they may be 40, 50, or even 60 years old, they may be 30 or 20 years old. You tattooed up. And let me tell you about tattoos. You might not know about it at first, but now you know about the tattoo. Cause you read the power. In the power. In the power, you got tattoos all on your arm. You got them all on your leg. You got them right here in your chest. You got them in your back. The word tell us. 
and Leviticus 19 and 28. God said, he didn't tell you to put no marks in your body. Good God Almighty, you got them tattoos now, and I know you can't get rid of them, but it's all right. Don't you put no more on you. Thank you, Jesus. It's face time. It's face time. Let me go back to Leviticus. I'm going to tell you what it said in Leviticus 19 and 28. He said, Ye shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. He said, Tell them to repent. Repent of what you have done. And if you repent, and if you try, and if you turn around, the God I serve, he will forgive you. Thank you, Jesus. It's face time now. I looked in the Bible, and I looked in the world, and I seen the same thing that's going on back yonder. It's going on today. Good God Almighty. I told you I paid a price for it. I told you I got to tell you the truth. Oh God, help me tell them the truth, God. Oh God, help me tell them. Don't let the blood come. Don't let it bleed on my hands. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. by your people and this what God gave me I'm going to tell you what the word said whether you like it or not oh God I thank you thank you Jesus thank you God people don't believe anymore they don't believe in God no more how can you forget God how can you forget the God how can you forget God that brought you up on my long way? How can you forget God? You stayed in a two-room shack. How can you forget God? You didn't have a car to drive. How can you forget God? No food on the table. How can you forget God? Good God Almighty. Can you forget God? The clothes you want were no good. How can you forget God? Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you need salvation. The Bible said you need to be saved. And some people, they come in the church they're looking at the preacher. Let me tell you one thing. Get your ass off that preacher. Get your ass off the man of God. Get your ass off to the woman of God. Good God Almighty. Get your ass off of him. You didn't come to church to look at the man of God. You came to church to look at the word. To get the word, to believe the word, to trust the word, to obey the word. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, God. Thank you, God. He's worthy to be praised. 
Now God don't want you to die. He gave Hezekiah time. He had his time kind to get himself together. His account went over there to that wall and he talked to God. He said, God, I don't want to die. And God said to him, I'm going to give you some more time. I'm going to give you a little more time to live. I'm telling somebody, get your life together so you can get a little more time with God. Oh, God, here's a God see. He said, remember me, God. Remember me all the good I done. Remember me, God. Remember me when I was in your house, God. Remember me, God. Remember what I did right, God. Thank you, Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. And back to Isaiah. Now, God don't want you to go to hell. And I'm going to tell you what the words say. And I say a family 14. It said, therefore, hell has enlarged itself and opened up its mouth. But I look back at the thing. It didn't say open up its mouth. It said open up her mouth. So here must be a woman, and the woman is going to sing. Look at the word for yourself, Isaiah 5 and 14. Let me read again to you. It said, therefore, hell has opened up herself, and opened up her mouth, and without measures, they were by the multitude, and their pumps. And he that rejoices, oh God, God want to give you a second chance. Do you want a second chance? Do you want a second chance? Or do you want to go on the wrong way? The wrong way of God. Get back on the right road. The right road of God. Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, God. Now, some people, they say they scared to read Revelation. What you scared of? What you scared of reading Revelation for? It just gives you a little bit of knowledge. You ain't reading Mark, Luke, or John, no way. So why don't you read Revelation? If you read Revelation, it'll tell you a little bit about hell. Don't go down there with the devil. The devil don't mean you no good. Good God Almighty. His fire proofs on every day. His holiday on the earth today. Oh God, I thank God. You think it's hot now? Go down the hill. Go down there with the devil. too late. It's not too late to come to God. You still got time. The word tell us. It says in Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. It said, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to me and understanding, nor yet favor to me. But chance happened to it all. Chance can happen to you. Let chance happen to you. Now listen to me, saints. Listen to the Holy Ghost. As it, thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you. Yeah, I'm going to tell it. 
Thank you, God. God had to send a prophet, and he sent Isaiah. He said, Isaiah, go on there and tell. Tell Hezekiah. Hezekiah, get your own house in order. But you know what the prophet Isaiah done? He went on and told the man of God what God said. But these days, people don't tell people what God said. You know what they do? They FaceTime them. They FaceTime them and tell them what God said. Stop facing them. Stop texting them. Call them up on the telephone. Tell them what God said. Whether they like it or not. Good God Almighty. Oh God, I thank you. Good God Almighty. He sent the prophet over there. He sent the prophet. He sent the prophet God. God sent a prophet. He got some prophets up in hell. You hide your light. Let the light shine. Let it shine bright. Good God Almighty. Prophets come for. Prophets of God come for. Prophets of God come for. Oh God, let them come for. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Now, let me, I'm paraphrasing this thing like God gave to me. And I'm telling you how God gave to me. But I'm going to put a person name in. But I'm going to use Isaiah. So God goes to Isaiah. He said, Isaiah, I need you to go over there. Go over there and tell Teresa. Teresa, get your house in order. I don't think we got no Teresa's up in here. But if you do, I'm telling you what God said. Get your house in order. And then when the, oh, uh, thank you, God. And then when the prophet told Teresa that he had some news for her, Teresa thought it was some gospel. She said, I heard that before. And then Teresa dropped the phone. She turned a deaf ear. She turned a deaf ear to the word of God. She turned a deaf ear to the prophet. You better believe the prophet and take him at his word. He ain't bound on his faith for nothing. He ain't calling God for nothing. He ain't praying God for nothing. Oh God, I thank God. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. He's worthy, 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 worthy to be praying. Somebody need to get saved today. And some people are in their way. You know what they say? They say, I went to church and my heart got hurt. I told you, when your heart get hurt, you need to focus on God. Focus on God. Don't focus on them women. Don't focus on them men. But focus on God. God is the revealer. God is the healer. God is the teacher. Oh, God, I thank you. Face time, face time. Face time, face time, face time. God, I thank you. Now let me speak a blessing over you. I speak a blessing over you. I speak a blessing over you. Whatever you asking God for, believe it and you can receive it. Hold your hand up in the air. Pull that blessing down. Pull that blessing down. And get that blessing you want. I speak to the devil. Lose them blessings. Lose God's children blessings. Right name in the name of Jesus. You ain't got no power over God. You ain't got no power over his children. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. 
He's so worthy, so worthy, so worthy to be praised. Some of y'all hurting. You're hurting in your body. You're hurting in your mind. You're hurting in your spirit. Let it go right now. Let it go right now. Release yourself in God. Young lady right back there. Begin to praise God. Praise God for your miracle. Don't be ashamed, young lady. Don't worry about these people looking at you. Praise God for the healer. Praise God right now for the healer. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. My mother right here. Mother, don't worry about them coming up against you. God got your mother. God got your front mother. God got your back mother. God got your side mother. God got your good God Almighty. Minister way. I ain't gonna turn my back, but minister way. God take me higher. You got to go higher. You got to go higher, Minister Way. No more on the floor. Step on out in the water. Do what God said. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Y'all ought to be running up in here. Somebody ought to be running up in here. You ought to be running up around the church. You ought to be running, running for God. You ought to be running. Running for God, good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I had to go out in the deep, now. I went out in the deep. I went a little farther. I went a little farther in the deep. I wanted to know some more things from God. So I got a little deeper in the Word. I read the Word. I pray. And I ask God, let me pray more, God. Thank you, Jesus. I see these visions. I see these signs. And God wake me up all the time. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. God taking you higher. Taking you somewhere you never been before. As ever seen, you ever heard what God has prepared for you. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's the Holy Ghost power. It's the Holy Ghost power. I know you sense your strength. Yeah, I'm strange. The power says I am peculiar. Good God Almighty. He called the peculiar one. He called the people that's not scared. He called the people that'll stand on the word. He called the people that'll trust the word. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, I thank her. Sister Keisha said, she said, I'll be a puppet for God. I'll run for God. I'll do what God want me to do. I ain't worrying about you. I'm going to do my part. And you do your part. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. My sister right here. Mason, Mason. Thank you, God. God gonna bless you. He gonna take you higher, higher in hell. Just stay in the church. Just believe the word. Be obedient, y'all. Do what God tell you to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Just a dance man. God got a blessing. He got a blessing waiting on you. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right, but stay straight forward, forward at all time. God's going to bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, God. Thank you, God. In the name of God.
the man of God, Pastor Callum, for him being so faithful and coming into the house of God. He be at this church every day. He be here praying. He be here at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Sometimes he might be at 9 o'clock. He be here in the church praying. You a faithful man of God. Pastor Callum, keep your faith in God. Keep your hands in God. Oh, God, I thank God. Thank you for the man of God. If you want to get some teaching, come on over here. Come over here and get teaching from God. Get some teaching from the Holy Spirit. Oh, God, I thank God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's like fire. It's shut up in my palm. Thank you, God. The lady right there. You need something from God. Don't be a shy. Don't be a shy. Stand up, my sister. Stand up if you're not afraid. Stand up in there. Stand up and let God use you. Give it to God. Give it to God. Give it to God. Good God Almighty. Thank you, God. Stop holding on to it. Stop holding on to it. Let it go. I know they hurt you. They hurt you. But you got to let it go. Let the grudges go. Let it go, my sister. So God can hear you. Let God hear you. Let God deliver you. Let God set you free. Let that grudge go. Drop it right now. Drop it right now. Drop it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. It's FaceTime. It's FaceTime. Thank you, Lord.